What's up, y'all? I'm home. Just want to show y'all this outfit. I know I got this from Rainbow. Where's City Trends? Rainbows. It's giving dinner vibes. Club vibes if I have the cleavage out. <laughs> Ain't home. This is the first time I wore any type of jewelry in forever. So yeah guys just wanted to show y'all the outfit. It's giving. Look at these flowers I got today. Yeah! They so cute. That was a nice surprise. Oh y'all remember that pimple? I said I won't go mess with. I did. It was bleeding a lot. And nails like this. And I'm so nervous in the morning. It's gonna be over for me. Lucy. All right, y'all, we got the Stella Rose peach. That was actually good. I still prefer black over all of them. And I've never had this before. This was a gift. So once we get it open, we are gonna see how it goes. Good morning. I tried to crank up my car today and it won't crank. I'm tired of being a fucking adult. I'm tired. I'm tired. I feel like like clockwork. It's like clockwork. Like, okay. Life's good. Life's good. Okay. Trying to mess up her life or his life. Like, yo. It's the 4th of July currently. It's, it's Monday. Um, so, of course, all the shops are closed and I can't get in contact with anybody. Like this, sh I'm in a new town, right? So, automatically, I'm trying to go to the Buick dealership because as a woman, like clockwork, a mechanic sees me and is like, ooh, payday, right? So, I've learned my lesson just to go to the mechanic so I don't have to do all that back and forth. I mean, go to a dealership. And you would think a dealership would be higher. But really, they be giving you the reasonable prices. Like, seriously. Instead of these little mom and pop shops you try to support with the motor vehicle. That's how my car got messed up one time. I had to pay it $800. Because somebody changed my oil wrong. Like, a story. But, um. I'm just sitting on this couch. Trying to be. Trying to calm down. You know. Like my mom was saying was true. I did a lot of driving this weekend. So thank God it didn't break down on me while I was driving. But it's like. I feel like every summer my car wanted to act up. Like last summer I had to fix my whole AC unit y'all. $1,400. Yeah. This summer. Now, I'm praying it's just the battery. If it's just the battery, fine. Because I'm going to be real. I've had my car for three years. I got it in 2019. It's a 2016. It's 2022. And I can't remember changing the battery. So, it might be that. It was so fine. But y'all know when cars don't start, it could be battery or alternator. One or the other. And I'm like... It's giving me battery signs, but what do I know, right? So, happy 4th of July, y'all. Um, that's what I'm dealing with right now. Um, so, hopefully my day gets better. Shout out to the leftovers, okay? We got salmon, garlic bread, pasta. No, I did not make this, but I tell you it's smashing. It's smashing. Somebody cook this for me, baby. Mm. Good morning, gang. It is Thursday, and I decided to do a mukbang to update y'all about what's been going on. So, I got some Starbucks. This is just a tall, no, grande ice white mocha frap. And two chicken beans. From um, 
Chick-fil-A. So I'm gonna pray and you know just give y'all an update like what's been going on. So thank God for this food. Jesus name I pray. Amen. And I need to step away from work and clean up this table, but y'all, what a week. Let me get this thumbnail in. Mm -hmm. Work has been crazy in personal life. Has been crazy as well. Hold on. I'll make sure your picture didn't have my name on it. <laughs> It don't, so we're good. I just had to go out with the school room. And y'all know that. Mm. But yeah, again, I'm covering for somebody at work. And it's crazy. I'm working to like 6 30 every day. Might be working at 7 at night. You know. One thing about Annie, I'm a team. I'm down to help team. I don't think this is fair. And I'm making it to my supervisor. She's giving me some help. But this person that I'm covering, seems like they need two or three people to cover. So what gets done is done. That's my mentality. And yeah. Tomorrow is Friday, aka summer hours. And I will be taking care of that. My car. Y'all, so shout out to God, grace and mercy. I was traveling this weekend back and forth home and stuff. Got back home Sunday. Car was fine. I was able to go shopping and stuff. Monday, I tried to get some breakfast. I went out crank. And the dealership was closed, of course, because it was a holiday. So Tuesday, I call them Triple A. I'm thinking it's the battery. I have a 2016. It's been five years. I'm pretty sure the battery hasn't been changed. Not to my knowledge. I got my car in 2019. I tell Triple A I need the battery. They come out here. The person doesn't have a battery. He was very nice. He didn't use it against me. He was just like, we have the car crank now. We want to drive it somewhere. I'm working, y'all. It's crazy. I'm covering. If it was a regular day, sure. I would just stepped away. But I literally just couldn't yesterday, right? I mean, Tuesday. So Wednesday comes. I made an appointment with the dealership for Wednesday morning, praying that I could get my car crank. I pray, but it wouldn't move. Like when I back back, it felt like 10 people were sitting in my car. Call Triple A again to get a tow. They come out, they're able to back the car up. They're looking at me like I'm crazy, like I don't know how to work a car I had three years. For the service breakdown, I'm like, I know that, but my car battery I have electrical service break, you know what I'm saying? It's a button, but if my battery is dead, I can't control that, and I felt like it had got stuck, so it was running. He's like, You're fine. I said, I still want to tow, 
I still want to tell. Y'all know when it caught on car stuff, mechanics, whatever, they look at women like we don't know what we're talking about. I was like, I still want to come. You know how, when you have your car, you know how your car, you know how it drives, you know if some shit ain't right. And some shit was not right with my car. When he started putting it on the thing, I saw it in the front, like middle, it was leaking a lot. I was like, ooh, I'm glad I did not get on the road. So y'all, um, later that day, my friend gave me a ride to the dealership. Shout out to Laura Boo, because they couldn't start on my car without me signing paperwork. So now it's Wednesday, I get a, you know, a text message, which I think is cool. They're texting me, hey, you definitely need a new battery. This is the estimate. We can't check on that other stuff because I wanted them to check the leak. And I wanted them to check the brakes until we put a good battery in the car so we can do, you know, like a full diagnostic test they do. So that's what's going on now, y'all. So. I'm having a housewarming this weekend with my friends. So, be prepared for another vlog. This is about to go down. Now, let me clock into work. And just remember, guys, if you like this video, make sure you like. If you're really trying to be in my business, huh? subscribe. I know you are. And if you really got something to tell me, Pippin. Leave a comment down below. And once again, shout out to my supporters. Currently, I believe we're at 28 subscribers. So, thank y'all for rocking with the crew. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? I got my baby bag. I got my, oh, I got my baby bag. Ooh, it's giving sweat and freckles, honey. It's hot out here. It's 100 degrees in my car, but I'm home. I got my baby bag, and I'm so happy. Oh. Um, the bill was up there it, it was up there so that's life that's what comes being an adult stuff literally happens but i got my baby all is well so we're gonna wrap up this video y'all plug out oh.